So now we're going to do a linkage example where we have a normal looking cross, but we're going to get an abnormal result. And so we're just going to do a regular uh, hybrid cross where we've got two different loci, in this case P and L. And so our parentals are going to be big P, big P, big L, big L, and little P, little P, little L, little L. So this is going to be our parental cross over here. This will give rise to our F1s, and our F1 should all look the same. They should be big P, little p, big L, little l. Now, if our phenotypes here for this, uh, this parent, this is going to be purple with long pollen. We're just going to call it purple and long. And this parent here is going to be red color, not purple and round instead of long. Then if purple and long are the dominant traits, we expect all of our F1s to also be purple and long. And in this case, that's just what we're gonna get. So when we see that, that's gonna be our first indication that this is just a standard dominant recessive relationship and that these are likely going to be autosomal um, genes because we don't have any information otherwise. Since we have these two loci and two traits, if we look at our F2s, what we're going to expect to find is we're going to expect that we're going to see this 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio. 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. So let's break this down a little bit further. We're going to expect to see nine individuals that are big P, big L, we expect to see three individuals that have two little p's and at least one big L, three individuals that are big P, little l, little l, and then one individual that's little p, little p, little l, little l. So this is what we would expect to see. Now, in this case, we're going to observe something different. So first, let's link all of these two phenotypes. So big P, big L, this is going to look just like that F1, purple and long. Little P, little P is going to be red and it has a big L, so it's going to be long. And then big P means purple and two little L's means round. And then for our doubly homozygous recessive, we're going to be red and round, just like that one parent. Okay, so now let's see what we actually observe. And we're not observing the genotypes. We're actually going to be observing these phenotypes. So when we see these phenotypes, what we actually see is we see a ratio of 15.6 to 1.0 to 1.4 to 4.5. So the thing that we notice here is that we've got two classes that are really overrepresented here, this 9 and this 1. And if we look at the phenotypes of these classes, we see that they are the parental phenotypes. This is going to be your first clue that this is going to be something where there is linkage. But we do not have enough information here to find out how close they are together. So next, we're going to do a problem where we figure out how closely linked two loci are to each other, and we're going to be doing that by doing a test cross.